it was having trouble connecting <laughs> all right so hey welcome to sunday night live tony here ram ventures 2.0 where are we at and what are we doing well we're at in the studio and we're in the middle of a severe national uh, weather alert thunderstorm so it just started about 15 minutes ago and i just saw um uh, some comments in here as i was scrolling down through um <laughs> I went ahead and <laughs> lit my lantern just in case we lose power. I do have a power bank downstairs. It was on the charger, a big one. Uh, but I've got another one here that I can at least get a light. But I got my really big one down there uh, that I was going to run down and bring up here quick. But then I thought, eh, no, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Now, if I lose power, I'll lose the internet and the ability to see the computer but I could plug the computer into that big power bank if I brought it up here, uh, but I didn't do that in time. Oh, well, <laughs> so, but I will still be able to use uh, my telephone, my phone where we're recording because I'm using um, just the data on that. So two different internet, uh, so we should be good. <laughs> All right, so let's get this night started. All righty, so I'm gonna go right to the comments. I saw Gene was on here quite some time ago hey gene uh hello uh, a bit early uh from from georgia and that was all the way back at 5 45 uh earlier today uh, yeah i just got a black floater right there that's weird <laughs> it's getting in the way all right so um yeah it looks like uh someone finally got a haircut yeah i did <laughs> yeah we'll look this way give a good turn and i got a beard trim so i was watching that video thursday night and i went well you're looking a little rough and you know one of the funny things is for the last i would say about a month with my hair getting longer and my beard getting longer i noticed and i was like nah that can't be but i noticed that people weren't talking to me uh when i say hi just on the street and stuff i would say how you doing and uh i wasn't getting the same response as i normally get when i got a clean haircut and a clean shaven beard and i was thinking they probably think i'm homeless <laughs> i said and and the, when i got it cut two days ago i went i should have done a video <laughs> of me uh, being a homeless guy, uh, you know, just one of those scenarios that have been a great um, disguise, in other words, uh, you know, pushed maybe a grocery cart and had my stuff in there and well, I missed out. <laughs> All right. Well, anyhow, uh, we got Leonard there. has got a severe uh, toothache, uh, says to pray for me. Uh, thank you. We'll definitely be praying, Leonard. Uh, we got Josh and Jen Outdoor Adventures. Yeah, Josh and I were talking um, earlier. He asked me to pray for Jen. Um, so uh, Jen had to go in for some uh, 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 surgery. I think he'll maybe mention it in the comments here. Uh, but we're definitely praying for, for Jen, and she is recovering. Yes. Hey, Elric the Black Heart, how are you doing? Yeah, and uh, brother, yes, and then we got Sean's Adventures. Yeah, yeah, in these, and that's me posting that we had a severe thunderstorm. So that was back at seven forty-eight, and it was just starting. The um, it was really noisy too, a lot of thunder. It was shaking the house. Uh, it was that much, but I just checked the weather. There's lightning strikes all around me uh, right now. So we'll see how far we get. Hopefully, we can get the whole way through this. All right. Yeah, uh, we got, let's see, Joseph. Hey, Joseph Kelly, uh, there we are. We got Sean's Adventures. Uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully uh, not too severe, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see. So, <laughs> yeah, that Subaru, right, Sean? Uh, must, that Subaru must, uh, is a great car, must have a million miles. miles. It's got 133,000 miles um, and it just had that 120,000 mile service, but just going down to the North Carolina and back, and then I ran up to up to New York to catch the, um, oh, the eclipse. And 
so after Sunday Night Live, if you remember, I was sitting there and I was going, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll run up there, but I don't have any glasses. Well, I ended up uh, after we got off of our live about 10, 10, 20, uh, went down, talked to Miss 2.0 um, once she got home and stuff. And then I I said, you know what? I'm going to go see if they got glasses at the uh, gas station convenience store. So I ran over there because I remember seeing them on the counter. Nope, they sold out. So I, there's another convenience store. I ran to that. Nope, they sold out. Ran to another one about 15 miles away. And they were sold out as well. So I was still debating. Uh, came home and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to look it up, see where the path of totality is, where I'd have the best shot. I didn't want to go to Buffalo. So I ended up going to Watertown, New York. So I grabbed a few things. Kissed Miss 2.0 goodbye, and I said, I'd much rather drive when it's dark, even though I <laughs> just drove back from North Carolina that day. Um, that uh, I went ahead and oh, there's a big thunder, thunder there. So I drove all the way up to Watertown, got there about 7 20 in the morning, just as the sun was coming up, and started filming that. I did sleep at a rest stop for about an hour and hour and a half around 3 30 in the morning um i just couldn't go any further so i pulled in there and just closed my eyes woke up and started driving again um and then when i got up there well i didn't want to fall asleep i still had to find a spot and i found that church later in the day but while i was looking driving around you know i stopped at this one place to get a coffee came out put it in the cup holder and it was around uh, 11 30 and <laughs> I picked up my phone and I thought, well, I'll just look, see if I got any messages. I was beat. And I looked down and uh, was going to scroll with my thumb. And then all of a sudden, I stopped scrolling. <laughs> and I did a very long blink. And by the time I was done blinking, I looked up and, and sure enough, um, it was an hour and a half later, so I had the car running. I was sitting in the front seat like this and just my hand to my phone. Like I said, I was exhausted, but it's good I didn't miss it. So I ended up going a little bit further and I got all the way up to, um, uh, found that spot and set up and right around 2.40, 2.30, around 2.30, it started. And like I said, filmed it edited it, and then started heading back home. Um, so it was around seven o'clock at night and I started heading back home. And sure enough, everybody that went up 81 and dispersed, I was seeing right below Syracuse. I was good until I got below Syracuse. And then everybody that was uh, on places that were off of 81 all merged back onto 81. And it was a huge traffic jam. Two to two to five miles an hour for about oh, 20 miles. <laughs> so eventually I got off at a, um, get, I went drove in that for about two hours. And then I finally just got off and uh, went to a Denny's, ordered something to eat. And after 11 o'clock when they closed, got back on the road and started driving again. So yeah, there was uh, about 1500 miles uh, just for that trip uh, to North Carolina and then home and then back up to New York. Yeah. And I just got an oil change before all of, all of that. Yeah. Yeah, small town adventures. So far, uh, so good. Uh, we still got power. Uh, turn this lantern down. I want to waste my gas. I'll crank it back up when <laughs> you can see it's really low. Yeah. So this is that fire maple um, orange something lantern. <laughs> so... That's in a description of all the videos is the, um, um, huh, that's weird. So I got this huge black spot in my eye. It, it's very similar to when I broke that blood vessel inside of my eye. Hmm. Okay. I, I keep looking and it's going all over the place already. So, hey, Rick, how are you doing? Uh, me too. Just got a cheap draw. Let's see. Rick, oh. Brother, how are you doing? What's up, Tony and everyone? Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll down here. Hey, Chris Schultz, how are you doing? 
Yeah. And uh, hope storms are not too bad. No tornado watches uh, going on. Uh, just a severe, few severe in West PA. Yeah. It, like I said, it's, it's coming down um, for us in Pennsylvania. I'm about central Pennsylvania. They say Harrisburg. So I'm between Harrisburg and Wilkesbury. So where I'm at, it's like right here and it's coming down like on a, <laughs> on an angle, angle and down towards Harrisburg. So like Erie towards Harrisburg. So it's kind of cross and a little bit. And uh, so that's why um, it hit uh, small town adventures before me because he's up around that way. <laughs> so he's, he's North uh, West of me. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it is old and crackadated. It's clear in my house, but cloudy outside uh, with strange puppy noises coming from under the porch. Ah, yeah. Hey, there's Darlene. How are you doing, Darlene? All right, Barbara Ebert. How are you doing, Barbara? Storm here also, not uh, that far from you. Yeah, and it's... It's heading towards Lancaster, like working its way down that way from what I saw on the uh, radar. So, yeah. Hey, Knight Rider Gaming. Hmm. Water, water, water. All right. So, yeah, that, that, um, trip down to North Carolina. I know we talked about it a little bit last week down to the North North Carolina um, hammock hangers. Uh, we talked about that, but I didn't want to tell you too much until you saw the video on Thursday. And I think that was a great video, the way it was all broke up and stuff. Got to see a lot of different hammocks, different, different setups and things. Um, yeah, very, very, very cool. Um, and got to meet a lot of really neat people. Oh, Richard. Oh, I think that I think I can do this on up here. Hey, Tony, Richard, thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I realized I can touch it on my phone. <laughs> See my finger. Oh, touch it on my phone as well as click on it on the computer. So if we do lose power, we can still get it up there. Hey, T hey, Timothy, how are you doing? All right. Hey, there's Jeff Cooper. Yeah. And I think I said, hi, hi, no, I didn't. Hi, Eileen. How are you doing? Uh, I, I read the storms also here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah. And um, as many of you know, um, um, ho hobo shoestring. Um, I think we did talk about that last weekend as well. But if y'all can, if you don't know who he is, go watch some of his videos. Uh, he was the one who, um, the YouTuber that passed away and was found in the lake, um, out behind his uh, house. And we are definitely been praying for him. Hey, Freddie, how are you doing? Uh, hoping everybody from South Carolina. Hello, everybody from South Carolina. Hoping all is well with everyone. Hey, there's a uh, baby and me, a uh, tiny, uh, tiny house on wheels. How you doing, brother? Yeah, how's them little dogs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hope they're doing good. And I saw you're back out um, on the coast. Um, I just saw your one video where you had said you were back out on the coast again. Uh, very, very cool. It was very stormy and cloudy, I believe, windy. Uh, what I saw there. Um, hey, Anthony, how are you doing? Hey, hey, Tony Adventure. Yes, how are you doing, brother? Hey, there's Trapper. Already Trapper, uh, looking sharp with that haircut. Yeah, how about it? <laughs> I was going to wear a hat tonight, and I thought, nah, I'm not going to wear the hat tonight. <laughs> I don't want to cover up my new hairdo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like I was saying, people were just a little bit, little bit more reserved and not as open. Um, and I, you know, I'm always friendly, always talking to people, but I noticed the longer my hair got and the longer my beard got, the less people wanted to interact with me. And that was just kind of, 
I was like, nah, that can't be, you know, I'm still me, <laughs> you know, but I guess it's just human nature that you kind of don't want to make eye contact with someone that looks homeless. You know, not everybody's like that, but like I said, I mean, I'm certainly not I always make eye contact with everyone. Yeah. But I could, I could definitely sense and tell a difference. Yeah. Hey, Ed, how are you doing? Yeah. Rick saying, uh, look sharp, <laughs> Tony. Uh, yeah. And hey, there's Ed. Yeah. 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 And Mike Burgess. How are you doing, brother? So uh, if you got any questions um, about uh, this is from uh, falling out of the hammock. Yeah. Um, so if you have any uh, questions, don't forget, put three question marks in front of your question. Ask me some questions about down there at um, at the uh, hammock event uh, down at Stormy. Um, ah, stormy. <laughs> I'd say Stormy because we've got a storm. Um, Woolly a Swamp Farm great place and uh, really cool and i did did uh i'll talk a about that in a second uh hey jpz how are you doing all the way cheers from seattle yeah and old and cracking day and saying that floaters for me falling out of hammock i didn't fall out lately but that just happened uh just just now right before i went online huh weird it was a big little stringy thing there I'm looking at it, chasing it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I had one in this eye. And that's where I went a couple months ago and they did that laser treatment on it. This one's actually a little bigger. <laughs> okay. All right. So please put the question marks. Yes. Yeah. Young. <laughs> yeah. A young look a lot. Uh, younger Tony. Oh, if I shave the beard all the way off, <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, you'll be like, who is that guy? I've done it a couple times. I didn't want to go too short with the beard, uh, but I did go to a um, barber to get it cut. So in Sealand's group, Sunbury, Sunbury, it's gentlemen. There's a place called Gentleman's uh, Barber. Uh, they have got about 10 or 12 chairs in there and i called and they said they do walk-ins so i went in and a, a young man named jonathan uh cut my hair uh he goes by john just like my son um so we had a great conversation great talk and um twenty dollars to cut my hair and trim the beard i obviously tipped him uh, but it was only twenty dollars i was really surprised <laughs> I had a lot of hair. <laughs> the pile of hair from my beard and my hair was like huge. <laughs> and it could have been a put it all together and made a pet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Hit that thumbs up, Darlene says. Uh, hey, Fred, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, howdy. Uh, Sugar's on uh, his way to Hong Kong, Europe. I saw that today, Ed. I I did. I saw him his posts where he said uh, he's heading over there. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, like I said, that's going to be the first ever Hong Kong, Europe. And like um, when we were down there, at the Florida Hong Kong, um, that's when um, the Danish. Um, uh, festival guys were there and I got to interview uh, him and he, he, they were saying, yeah, we're in talks. We're going to have a hang con over there. So yeah, boy, wouldn't that be cool to go to that? Yes. Uh, Chris Schultz got a question. Uh, hello, Tony. Ed and I are uh, with Cowboy Mike, Heather, Jimmy, and, and Fred at Payne's Prairie for the next couple of days. Well, you y'all enjoy that, yeah. I think um, I think I saw where I I think I saw that on the map while I was down in Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Uh, that storm is wicked. It just ripped through. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I think it. I'm not hearing any more thunder, but I hear rain steadily coming down. Oh, I picked up some um, beard oil. <laughs> yeah. So I've got the uh, honest Amish uh, beard oil because uh, 
I was talking to Stitch, and he says, don't you put any beard oil on there? And I was like, no. And he said, yeah, put beard oil on it. So I, I found this uh, honest Amish classic. So, yeah, and then I was thinking, well, I could just put olive oil on it because that's what they used to do in uh, biblical times. The Old Testament talks about, you know, putting oil on their beard and stuff. And uh, I think they just used olive oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's Dixie Cup. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Made it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tony, uh, did you uh, cut your hair? Usually I do cut my own hair, but eh, I didn't want to do it. It was too long and I couldn't. I was going to. I didn't want to make a huge mess. And I thought, well, I'm willing to pay for it <laughs> this time. Uh, but now I can just maintain it now that it's at this length here. Yeah. Chris says, uh, I'm in Steelings Grove, PA, um, and it made a uh, oh, mess out here, over 50 mile an hour winds uh, for 20 minutes. Yeah, they were calling for some major winds, Chris. So Steelings Grove, so you're um, like, you know, you're, oh, you're not too far from where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking the way it was moving you might, I might have got hit with it uh, about five minutes after you, it started at your place. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a question from Chris. Uh, Watertown, New York, uh, that is a, the uh, subject of a uh, good old Harry Chap Chapin song. Oh, really? I uh, always wanted to go there after hearing that song, A Better Place to Be by Harry Cha Chapin uh, all my life. Wow, Chris. Yeah, it it was beautiful. It's a long drive after Syracuse uh, as you're driving up um, 81. Um, not a lot going on in there. Um, Bolt Castle is up that way as well. Uh, I was only like 30 minutes from the Canadian border. Um, so Watertown military up there, but I went west and, uh, along the lake and found that church. And, uh, that was really, I could have shown more of the solar eclipse. Um, I could have slowed down the time lapse and I had a bunch of other stuff that I could have thrown in there, but I didn't want to make that video too long. Um, but I think what I did show, I think it, it kind of, I was a little disappointed because it was cloudy. I think if I would have gone up towards Albany and then over that way to Saratoga Springs, over there, they had clear skies and I could see it. In fact, I said at the end of that video, I said, oh, it's uh, it's going to be um, clear up as soon as it's over. And I could see way out there that it was coming my way, some blue skies. And while I was sitting there in the church parking lot, um, doing my editing, I'm sitting there. So this is going to be what it looks like if you were to drive by the main road. Um, and Sue, um, who is one of the uh, members of that church, she was driving by and she came to check on the church, but she swung in there. And so I'm like this, looking down, editing. So... <laughs> She and so you can't see my hands, and I'm editing on the phone, and I'm looking straight down, and I'm still. And she comes into the parking lot and swings around, and then I, I thought somebody was just turning around, and I just looked up, looked out the window, and <laughs> rolled the window down, uh, turned the car back on, and then uh, got the window to roll down. And she goes, "Are you okay?" <laughs> like. Yeah, I guess it did look like I was passed out in their parking lot or something like that. But it was still during the the evening. And uh, her and I got a chance to talk. Uh, she told me about the church and stuff. And just like a week before that, they had a meeting. Uh, and they were going to set up cones in front of the church parking lot just so people couldn't pull in there. Uh, but in that meeting, they said, well, we're a welcoming place. If it, if people come there and mess it up, we'll just clean it up. Uh, and I'm so uh, blessed because when I when I was coming around looking for a place, I was looking most of the day. 
Uh, but when I got to this one road, I went out towards the, the lake and there was a huge group of people over there. And I didn't want to be near uh, too many people. Kind of want to find a secluded spot where we could just look at it and I could film it and talk. And um, I said, Lord, find me an epic spot. <laughs> and uh, I was uh, that's when I didn't, didn't know where I was going to go. And I came up to a stop sign and I was going to turn left. And I just felt the Lord go, turn right. <laughs> so uh, I turned right and not more than uh, 50 yards uh, right there on the left. I saw the church and it's surrounded by trees and woods across the street. And I pulled in there and I was like, oh, this is an epic spot. <laughs> Let's, uh, so I uh, got all set up and uh, I had told her that I said, well, you know, when you guys had that talk about should we put the cones out and you all decided not to, I said that was all um, the Lord opening the door for me to have a spot. And uh, so he answered a uh, prayer and uh, really, really cool. And uh, I forget the name, Henderson, Henderson, uh, New York. So about 15, 20 minutes uh, west of Watertown. Uh, is where I was at. Uh, let's see. Nash Garber. Oh, yeah, Ed. How are you doing? Uh, not not missing much. Uh, just National Guard barrack, barracks. Yeah, that, that up in that area is really nice. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, Lisa and I, we did a, a anniversary, one of our wedding anniversaries up at Bolt Castle. If you've never seen Bolt Castle, look up Bolt Castle. Um, it's a castle that was being built uh, for um, uh, this Bolt's wife. They were from um, New York City back in the day, like 1800s. And they wanted a summer home. So he was building an, uh, on this island a castle. And then she had passed away and he just stopped building it. There's that. And it kind of fell into disarray. But there's a whole to get there. You need to take a, a ferry out to the castle and then there's tours. But they've been uh, finishing that dream of getting it done. Um, and they've done a lot of great work uh, restoring it. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, let's see. We got question mark there. Uh, maybe that's for Ed's question. Uh, anyone know Harvey's Lake, PA? Yeah, Harvey's Lake. I know where that's at. In fact, I had um, sold a uh, one of the cabins on that lake. Uh, I met a couple down at a solar expo that I was doing at the farm show building when I sold solar many, many, many years ago. And a husband and wife had me come up and survey. They ended up buying a solar system and the guys installed uh, solar panels on a house. Uh, one of them cabins up there on Harvey's Lake. Beautiful lake. Beautiful, beautiful lake. Hey, Gunner 606, how are you doing? Hey, yes, yes, Hot Wheels. <laughs> you definitely did. And I have your number, telephone number. I do. Yeah, we got to talk. Hey, old and fat outdoors. <laughs> it was great to meet uh, you at the hang. Uh, yeah, that was a great hang. I really, really loved that hang. And for the first one um, that you guys had down there, um, it was it was amazing, 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 amazing. And like I said, I met so many awesome people down there. Um, and there's a lot that I didn't get to talk to as well. Uh, but it, it was a great hang. Very, very cool. Like I said, if 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 you haven't seen the video yet, go watch it. <laughs> so I think it's got about 3,000 views right now. So out of the last 10, 10 videos, uh, from Thursday until now, that one's number eight out of ten. So it's the eighth on the list. I mean, a lot of a lot of people like watching my videos that just me <laughs> camping. Uh, but 
I want to encourage you to watch other stuff too. I know you guys do that are come on Sunday night lives um, to go on and watch it because you meet, uh, you meet, get to meet people that I get to meet uh, with this one more so than HangCon. I got to actually look and talk, di talk to different people, show some different things. And the next one that we're going to next weekend, Maha, um, I was already down there. I went down there the other day. Thought I'm just gonna take a drive, and so at one o'clock in the afternoon, this it was about two hours away. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go check it out and see if there's a place, see kind of what it looks like a little bit. So I went down there and I met Danny uh, at the Airsoft at, or Paintball. It's a it's Ambush is the name of the place, uh, and really cool. Um, so they were gonna have a church youth group that's for 29 years been doing you get together and airsoft and paintball there um for like 20 29 years they've been doing it he said they were going to have a i believe 160 youth there for the day <laughs> it is a, it's a lot and they had um, equipment for all of them goggles and all that stuff uh, but uh, but spoke to danny uh really great individual um so i'm going to be able he was getting ready for things the day before but you can see a little bit and you can see all the setups that they have there i did um i did do a little bit of filming just for a minute like say hey guess where i'm at um but i didn't post anything um so this is the uh the map so because i said where are we hanging in the trees and you can see he circled by pen that area there so all the rest of the stuff down in here is all the courses. So they'll be playing um, anybody that wanted to play. They were set, gonna set up teams. You had to register and stuff. But we're gonna be in the trees up in there in the blue pen mark. Um, and I think they had roughly about 140 registered. <laughs> so that's uh, quite a number. So that'll be um, Dutch. We'll meet Dutch and uh, with Dutchware uh, down there in Lancaster. Hey, Kay Ann, how are you doing? Uh, just. Uh, Thunder and lightning here right now. Hopefully no more rain. So Kay Ann, um, her and I uh, uh, texted back and forth. Um, and we said, hey, let's go ahead. I think we would uh, to do the Discord. Uh, she had been working on it, got it all set up. Uh, so the Discord, if y'all don't know what, <laughs> what Discord is, some of you on here do know what it is. But she has set it all up. She just transferred it over. I said, let's go ahead and uh, get it going. She's done a tremendous amount of work with it. Um, I just went in there and posted some pictures. I posted a couple other things. I'm learning how to use it myself. And I really haven't had much time to learn. Uh, but it's going to be uh, private. And I'm not sure how we're going to let people know, Kay Ann, <laughs> how to do it. Because we want to keep it private in the beginning. And then start to open it up to more of the people that are outside the 2.0 family that just found the channel a lot of the younger crowd that um doesn't necessarily like facebook or uh, other things but they like to get together and and chat and talk kind of like our sunday night lives but they would do that on discord um and i can be in there in the chat sometimes too or i guess it's uh you can have voice and video and everything. So really cool. The more I learn about it, it's really neat. Uh, I'm gonna put that up there again, Richard. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah, for that of super chat, yes. Uh, there's a high of 93, deg 93 degrees and dangerous thunderstorms tomorrow. Ooh, there you go, Leonard. Yeah, stay safe, brother. Uh, let's see, Steve, how are you doing? Steve, Michigan had the thunderstorms uh, this morning. Ah, uh, there's Rewild. Hey, Sean. So, uh, as y'all saw, Sean and I, uh, well, we, I made the fish tacos and then he made that, uh, rice and beans with the, uh, andouille sausage. And then it went like, uh, you know, when you go to lunch in school cafeteria, you're, you're swapping food. So we did a little trade. Uh, he got to have one of the uh, fish tacos, the mahi mahi fish taco made on that scotal. And I tell you what, that scotal 
was amazing for cooking that fish and making those fish tacos. It was really, really good. And <laughs> next time I'll probably just get guacamole uh, because that that um, avocado was like a brick. It was like a rock. <laughs> it was, I dropped it and just bounced. I brought that all the way home, gave it to Miss 2.0 to use. And she said, nope, <laughs> it was uh, still a rock. She was going to use it and put it in her eggs. Um, the other morning and it's still not ready uh but i hear you put it in a paper bag and let it ripen up uh but it wouldn't have ripened for that <laughs> while we were down there yeah and uh yeah so you guys saw that um sean and i uh camped right next to each other and it was it was really neat like i said we met so many really cool people uh moose man uh, you know, uh, James was there and we, we met, uh, his nephew up at the fire pit. Um, yeah, we, we had a great time uh, looking forward. I, I, that's one I'm probably going to go back to again next year. Um, and yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking something. Uh, I found, I was at, uh, coming through the checkout at Walmart. And uh, you know how the Ch Tony Chocolonis uh, with the big bar, then I found the minis. Well, this is another size. So right here you got a little bigger. <laughs> so you got this one, you have the, oh, I'll show you the big one. Uh, this one's my souvenir because <laughs> I they don't make, make these anymore. That was a thing that they did with Ben and Jerry's. But this is the big one and then Here's this one. And then there's even a smaller one that I've showed you guys before. That was on that one video. We found the nest of Tony Chocolonis and we snuck up on them and grabbed one and ate it. <laughs> it was a catch and cook. <laughs> Without the cook, we ate it raw. Because <laughs> we're like that. <laughs> we just took a bite of it. Yeah, so this is uh, milk. No, this one is the caramel. Ooh, the salted caramel, I believe. Yeah, caramel... Milk, uh, chocolate uh, with caramel sea salt. And <laughs> this one's really good. Miss 2.0 likes this one. I got two of these and I gave her one when she got off work last night, had it laying down there on her Bible. <laughs> and as soon as she walked in the door, I come in the kitchen. She goes, oh, where did Tony Chocoloni come from? <laughs> I said, oh, did you see that already? And uh I said, that one's for you. And I saw uh, she ate half of it <laughs> today. Must have had it with her coffee. Uh, this other one is just, just. <laughs> this one's milk chocolate. So not just. I had a milk chocolate one yesterday. Ooh. Very smooth, very good. Tony Chocolonies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, pens, pens by Rob. Hey, Tony, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. I hear you are possibly doing something with uh, Northwest Winds, uh, Northwest Wind. Um, uh, is that true? I hope so. Have a good live. Yeah, him and I have been talking for, oh, my goodness, since it was before Christmas. We were going to do something between Christmas and New Year's, but my son, Jonathan, came in. He was also busy with family. Um, and then I headed down to Florida for HangCon. Uh, then when I got back, he was uh, just going through uh, some uh, issues and stuff. And uh, we didn't weren't able to get together. We did talk a couple of weeks ago uh, before I went down to North Carolina and said, maybe when I get back from North Carolina in these weeks before, but trout season. So he's a big trout fisherman. And he was saying, you know, we could get together. He'd come over uh, to Pennsylvania. We meet out in Western PA. He'd maybe fish one day and we'd maybe do a collab another day. We'd get it all worked out. Uh, but he did have that new puppy uh, that he bought. So uh, him and I still got to get together. But right now I'm focused on getting down to um, um, the Maha hang, which is next weekend. But it's going to happen. I just don't know exactly when when it will happen yeah oh let's see uh, uh hey false paranormal how are you doing yeah uh let's see oh what are you uh planning next week 
for next week's camp. Uh, I am planning on figuring something out. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of recon. Um, so if you are part of our Facebook group or look at uh, posts on Facebook, I got back, was that yes, day before yesterday. And on my way home from going down there to a ambush, I had to come up through um, Pine Grove, not Pine Grove Furnace, uh, but Pine Grove over like towards the Lancaster area coming up 81. And there's a, a spot over there that I did some gold panning. I also did uh, a video on mushrooms back before the stroke um, when I was in the first year of the channel. But I, I remembered that spot and I wanted to see how it was. So I went up and I pulled off over in there and I parked the car and I walked to the one area. And then I walked, I wanted to check out a different spot where I remembered I could probably sneak in there and get get a good little camp. Um, so I was out of the car, maybe 20 minutes walking around. Um, and then I got back in the car and I sat down and uh, I turned the car on and I looked down at my leg and I thought, oh, there's a little piece of dirt um, on my leg. And I looked at it and it was small. And I looked a little closer and I thought, oh, that's a bug. You know, I thought it was like one of those little hopper bugs that maybe get on you. And then I looked a little closer. <laughs> then I got my phone out and put it on Zoom. And it was a very small tick. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I opened the door, pulled it off, stuck it outside the door and closed the door and thought, oh, I better look at my legs again. I spent a good 10, 15 minutes uh, because I started seeing more uh, picking. I picked up uh, 18 ticks off of my legs. So I must have walked through a nest or something. So ticks are definitely out. Be careful if you're out. So what I did is when we were down at Hang Con, uh, 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 oh, where is it? So, uh, Sawyer had permethrin giveaway permethrin so you can see the bottles out of this like this is the box so permethrin um it's an insect treatment uh so it's enough uh permethrin in the bottle to treat five outfits and then once you treat now don't treat your underwear or your hat things like that you your outer clothes you can also spray the bottom of your hammock. Does help with mosquitoes, um, but permethrin, um, it's, a, it's odorless um, after drying. So, it, so I took four of my pants. So I've got two gray and two green. They're the REI pants. Very, well, they're exactly like the ones I have on. Uh, the ones I have on, this is the only tan tan pair that I have. I don't know if y'all can see them. So, but there's a little flap. These um, unzip right here, but this flap, I when I lifted this flap where the zipper was, I found two underneath the flap. Um, and, you know, like I said, I got rid of it. And so when I was driving home, um, you know, you're like, oh, <laughs> I feel like they're all over me. Uh, but usually um, when I find ticks, they're usually crawling up my neck. I have a sensitive neck, so I always feel them crawling on there, and I just grab it and I pinch it. Like sure, sure enough, these were so small I couldn't I couldn't pinch it um, and get it off there. They were that little because they must have just hatched. So um, when I got home, I walked right into the kitchen. And I turned around. And I said, "Honey, look on my neck. Is there a tick on there?" And sure enough, there was. So she had uh, got it off and. Um, everything. So uh, that was number 19. <laughs> so yeah, definitely uh, be careful. But permethrin, this uh, had a spray. So I took those uh, four pairs of pants, the REI pants that have the zipper on the legs. Um, and I treated them, sprayed both sides. You do it outside, had it over a railing, let them dry overnight, 
brought them back in and they will be good uh, and treated shouldn't have to retreat them again until after five washes so i've got four different pairs ready to go i have about a half a bottle left uh, because i didn't treat shirts and things like that um, but i'm excuse me i'm going to take that with me yeah i'll put it in the car and i'll take it with me down when i go uh, hammocking uh, next and spray the bottom of my uh, my under quilt with it not sure but i can treat um mul multiple things oh i treated my shoes today put a different pair of shoes on so my other shoes are drying the ones that i uh, camp and hike in so they're they're going to be all treated as well Mm. Mm. all right so hey dennis uh, how are you doing brother uh yeah dennis you should have uh, come on over uh for that hang in north carolina maybe next one uh you'll be able to come over for that hey there's a cute little bug <laughs> yeah hello glad to see you uh that's weird <laughs> yeah all righty so scrolling 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 uh there's skeeter how you doing skeeter I was out camping, uh, very bad storms coming uh, in, so hopefully I can get out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I've got a, it's supposed to be nicer tomorrow. Yeah, it is. Also pretty warm in the 70s and I think it's only down to in the 40s overnight. Should be good. Uh, what other ha hammock, um, uh, what other hammock uh, setup impressed you enough to maybe give it a try well gene <laughs> the one thing that i really liked but he doesn't have it yet was um so it's he's waiting to get it um the approval for it and then he's gonna have them um but um hanging high hammocks uh, if you remember when we were over at uh, moose man uh he said like here's uh, in the, for the tarp um, he just pulled the little um guy line and then put it in porch mode and then said if a storm's coming i can pull it down that was really cool with that continuous i'm not sure what it's called it's a continuous rod that goes over um so kind of keeps it up and out of the way your tarp i thought that was really neat uh, as far as a uh, hammock the next one that i'm gonna try is going to be um the hanging high hammock i have it right over there in the male hammock um so i've got that there um not sure when i'm going to get that one set up i don't know if i'm going to take that i want to get that one set up and do a, like a little you know trial run with that first before i take it to the hang uh but yeah so far that's it um I do. I would like to like to try the Haven, that flat one. Um, when I talked to Tim down there, I think it was Tim. Yeah, I, I thought he gave me his telephone number, gave me a business card because we talked about maybe doing a um, little program where they send me it and I can give it a try and then send it back. You know, like give my opinion on it. Uh, but and he didn't have his phone number on there. I was really disappointed. Uh, and I even emailed them and no response back. Um, so <laughs> I might have to, because I did land it down there, uh, the Haven, and I didn't win it <laughs> down at the North Carolina hangers, uh, hammock hangers uh, thing. That was the Glenn had won that, which is really cool. Yeah, let's see. Oh, m &T Living and Cooking. How are you doing? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Showboat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Tony, I thought uh, you looked like a wild camp. <laughs> I just thought you looked like a wild camper. I almost didn't recognize you yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So with my hair, like it was, it was pr pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I sent Stitch and a couple other people. I did a, like a, a picture. I 
just took my hair and it went way up in the air and i was like <laughs> and did a little sticker on it um because you can pull that picture off your uh regular phone and and make it into a sticker i thought it was funny yeah uh let's see hey there's stitch and there you are yeah okay how much uh for your haircut and i felt i'll never mind uh so my haircut was twenty dollars uh for the haircut and the beard uh yeah and uh, that's in uh, the gentleman's i don't know if it's called the gentleman's barber it's in uh sunbury pennsylvania i had gone to them when they were just a little shop probably 10 years ago they only had like two chairs three chairs maybe um in there and i went there way back then because i worked in that area and then they moved to another spot i, I don't believe i ever I may have gone to them there as well, uh, but they're, now they're a whole new spot and much bigger. A lot of a lot of guys work in there and they, they do a good job, really good job. Yeah. What is your preferred? So uh, let's see. The preferred one right now is I really like the one wind. Um, have you seen any others you like? Uh, what is your favorite? What is your preferred? So I prefer the area eleven foot, and I don't. I don't prefer nine foot hammock. I'm five eight. <laughs> oh, I thought you were much taller. No, I just look taller in film. No, just kidding. Uh, but I'm five eight. Uh, even in a nine foot hammock, a um, little tighter. But once I got in that eleven foot double airy double oh my very very comfortable and i believe it's only um you i got the the with the bug net uh not zipped so i have a zipped one um i have this one over here that has the bug net that has a zipper on both sides i had that one down at hangcon um so for the zipper for me, even though it, you can zip off the whole bug net um, and you have a zipper on both sides, I I liked the Airy 11 double better with the um, bottom entry bug net. If you watch some of my videos and it, it, when you see me in the bottom, bottom entry one you can see me sitting on the hammock sideways you know just sit down in it uh, with my feet on the ground and that bug neck comes all the way down to the ground uh, around me so if it was zipped i could zip it up on both sides of my legs and just my legs sticking out uh, but i like the fact that it was just right there um, over everything uh, kind of sitting in it so you're in a, like a little room, <laughs> little room uh, without the zippers, you know, I liked it. And then you can cinch it up on the bottom or you don't even have to have it on. You can remove it completely. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool. Let's see. So that's the one I prefer. Um, have you seen any others you like? Um, yeah, I've always seen others that I like. Um, but I'm new at it. <laughs> you know, I've only been hammock camping for mm, almost almost two years now. So I'm new to it, too. So a lot that I've learned, I'm trying to share with everybody as I go. Um, and so don't feel like I'm a long time hammock camper. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. It's just I'm learning and people are teaching me. And that's what's so cool about going to the um, the uh, events is because you see something you like they love to show you um different things uh, so i like the buckle straps that come with the one wind but then again you know i don't i used to just use the regular straps um with the um a daisy chain there we go so like a just a, a strap with the daisy chain so you can see it there so um 
that goes around a tree. Uh, but I like the buckle strap because it's very quick or the setup. Uh, but then I saw all this stuff down there at the, um, North Carolina. The guys were using that. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I think, that, like Glenn, I would like to find out more about the um, oh, whoopee sling um, setup that he had, uh, and uh, I forget the the strap that went around it. Uh, I forget what that was called, uh, but. Dennis um, got me started on a couple uh, different hammocks uh, that's in the comments here. You mail me some hammocks on Mail Mondays, and uh, I got out and used those different ones. Uh, and so it, it's it's really um, it, it's going to be finding a hammock that you're comfortable with. But I wouldn't go with a single. I would if I was going to start out, I'd go with a double right out of the gate. You're gonna. It's gonna be much more room, um, and you'll learn to hang it uh, so you can lay kind of cattywampus. <laughs> so you don't want to lay uh, head to feet. Let's see. Hey, JBK, how are you doing? Uh, yes, I love your live shows. Thanks for your positive vibes. Well, you're welcome, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know how far, I don't even want to look how far away I am <laughs> from, <laughs> I just looked, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm a ways away. Uh, so, uh, Tony, what is uh, what is that hammock with the snakeskin? So, um, a snakeskin is um, a cover, rather than putting it back in its stuff sack, you can have a snakeskin uh, to... I have my tarp in the snakeskin. Oh, here's a snakeskin. Um, so this is a mesh one. This is a mesh snakeskin. So you can have um, a snakeskin is meant so you can um, just close up your hammock in a snakeskin um, and then just pull the snakeskin out and the hammock drops out of that. So it's like a, a like pack and play. <laughs> yeah, you just, when you're zip it up and if you want to um like say during the day um like your hammock put it in a snake skin like you can pull the snake skin all the way out and you just got your hammock in a straight line like if it's gonna uh you know not blow around or anything like that so snake skins are used um to hide away or to pack your hammock uh for closing it up and then opening it up um, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, Dark Storm. How are you doing? Uh, liking the fresh cut. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's it, my hair always goes like that. Um, sticks up there in the side. So when he cut it, uh, I, I look at the screen. It's like not like a mirror. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, Queso23 uh, travels. Um, Hobo Shoestring had a stroke and died. Is that what he had? Okay. Yeah, I hadn't heard what the cause of death was, it's just that he was found um, in, in the um, lake uh, behind his apartment. Trapper says, uh, where can I get a tarp with the door flaps and uh porch mode on the one hammock in your hang con video looking for one that um seems durable well uh, the one wind uh there's actually a this is the the one that i used at hang con was this one here uh, so it does have, it, it's got the doors on it. So, so this, I don't know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, but, but I think it, you know, if you go to the, my link on the one wind, you'll see it. Or if you go to the Amazon store front and click on like a uh, hammock, 
uh, it's all in there. You'll see the whole set in there. But this is the one with the doors. This is probably, instead of the one Tigris tarp, uh, I'm probably going to take this one. And it's light. You know, it's not real heavy. Now, the uh, the one like Stitch has and stuff, that's very light. Um, oh, I forget the name of it. They're very light. <laughs> Dyneema? Is that the name, Dyneema? I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> way down below in the comments, uh, Stitch will probably mention it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Rebecca with two Ks from Crockett, Texas. Yeah, I got to see uh, you all in the live show this, this time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you missed a couple. God bless you, too. Camping all out. Hey, say hi to Alyssa. All right. Be a man. What <laughs> is what I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Be a man. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, camping, uh, but I heard a very bad storm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you did you cut it your own? Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, I, I went to that barber shop. Yeah, so I'm just getting down to the ones where I'm talking about my hair. <laughs> hey, Snitch, <laughs> I could have cut it. I could, most of the videos that y'all see where I have shorter hair, I cut my own hair. Yeah. Hey, C.A. Hans, how are you doing? Good evening, Tony, from southern Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, the One Wind is a very good one. And don't forget, if you go on the One Wind uh, site, you can always use the RA 2.0 code and get a discount. Yeah. Hey, MD Gons, how are you doing? Uh, yeah. Hope everyone is well listening while hanging in my hammock. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, no, did you have to go uh, have it cut on his own? Oh, <laughs> no, Miss 2.0, you know, after last, after Lisa and I Thursday, yeah, Thursday, after her and I watched that video of me down there at uh, in North Carolina, I was watching it and I was like, the sun was shining behind me and it looked real thin. Like, and I was like, oh, I, I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> Man, my hair is getting pretty long, which I wanted to go keep going with it. And then I was like, oh, man, I should trim my beard. And I looked at her and I said, think I ought to get my hair cut and my beard trimmed. She goes, yeah, if you want to, it would probably be better. <laughs> so when she said probably be better, I was like, yeah, I probably better. <laughs> and no, I'm just, just kidding. She wouldn't mind. Yeah. Hey, Adam, how are you doing? Good evening from Kansas. Uh, yeah, yeah. You cry outside a lot of music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, Alyssa said hi. All righty. So uh, Mary B, Miss, oh, uh, Miss uh, P. TL Fabrications. Good evening. And uh, your hair looks great. Thank you much. Yep. Uh, the hammock hang uh, camp at Woolly Swamp uh, looks like it was a lot of fun. It was. And getting a chance to hang out with um, Sean at Rewild, we had a great time. Looking forward to his video coming out to see that perspective as well. Um, yeah. So him and I, I think, are the only two that were actually filming the event. And um, yeah. As that's fun. There we go. Hi, Joyce, Joyce, Joyce. Yeah. Hi, Tony. It's 73 today in eastern Washington State near Spokane. Or Spokane. Yeah. 81 degrees in Tennessee. Yeah, it was 76 here today, I believe. Uh sure enjoyed the woolly swamp. Uh yeah, looks like a really nice place to camp. Yeah, it was it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And um, yeah, the owner, super, super nice, super nice, David. Really, really nice guy. I had an opportunity to 
hang out with him and talk to him uh, a couple times. Just a really, really, uh, just a, an amazing uh, person. Really, really great, great testimony and story as well. Um, yeah, but a great place to hang. Um, and he had some medical issues. I believe he was in the hospital for over a year. They didn't think he was going to live. And um, he was telling me that a um, when he, that a urologist looked at his X-ray, one of top renowned, and there was no scar. I don't know the whole story, but praise the Lord, there was no evidence of him. And he was in the hospital for over a year with like a 1% chance to live. Praise the Lord. That uh, Just amazing. Amazing. Reasonably okay. I was uh, in Warren, PA area during the eclipse. Yeah, got clouds too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was hit and miss. Hey, how about the big uh, cicada swarm that's coming? Yeah. The 17 year brood and the um, 13 year brood, uh, it's going to be a biblical proportion. <laughs> so, so, two broods, the 17 year and the 13 year, are going to be hat, uh, coming above ground uh, within the next couple of weeks. Um, and we'll be hearing them for quite some time. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think the last time they said that it happened was uh, Jefferson. It's been a long time since both broods hatched at the same time. Uh, pre president, um, yeah, uh, it's over 100 years since it's happened. Hey, Carl, Carl. Oh, and Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how are you doing? Yeah, and uh, Carl had to take a phone call. I had to take uh, It's probably over by now because <laughs> I'm way behind. Hey, Jake, how are you doing? Uh, yeah. So, um, Tony, uh, I am here. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely pray, praying for you, brother. Um, so, guys, pray for Jake uh, to heal. He broke six ribs. Um, so um, definitely uh, heal up quickly, but definitely don't move too quick. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Josh has got a question. Uh, do you plan on uh, playing playing paintball uh, while you are there, Tony? No. <laughs> so I've already uh, thought about it. I was down. I I walked along the course a little bit. Uh, just to, I was looking for places where I could really um, get a good visual because I do want to do some filming. But I would be, I'd be a, a target, you know, I, I, I can't run. So they'd be like, all right, they blow the whistle to start. And I'd be like walking along and just pop, pop. I'd be get, but they said they did, uh, they have referees for the games and everything. And I, I could be a sniper, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play. Would have been cool back in the day. I think my son was there or wanted to go there years ago. They've been around for, I think they said 40 years. That's a long time. But no, I don't plan on playing yet. But I plan on filming some of it, including some of it in the uh, video. We'll see how things go. Let's see. How can uh, we reach you for a collab? Uh, so m and Living, I see Darlene put it up there, email. Uh, email is the best way, and my email is in the description of every video. Uh, but it's randomventures927, eh, which is my favorite number, uh, at gmail.com. Let's see. Yeah, Stitch uh, posted a couple of times uh, on the stream. Um, yeah, that I uh, um, Stitch volunteered us to do a collab, and when they do uh, collabs, they do cooking collabs, like you cook a meal while you're on a video, uh, live video, talking back and forth. You eat your meal, and talk about it, and stuff. And uh, yeah, it sounds pretty uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, the rice and sausage was very good. <laughs> Uh, rewild, uh, Sean, it was, that was delicious. Did you see how much he made in that, in that Dutch oven? That was a lot of food. Yeah, it was. 
<laughs> but the fish tacos are just ha just having fun. Says uh, fish tacos looked amazing. Yeah, they were amazing. Uh, Stitch sent me a recipe uh, for that, and he had just sent it to me. Was, uh, and we talked about how to modify it. Like instead of using this, I could probably do this. Instead of doing this, I, I could probably you know to cut down some time to make it easier. So we talked about that on the phone. He said, I didn't think I'd see it on a video that quick, but we had just talked about it. And then I got the thing. And uh, after the Cracker Barrel um, overnight down there live, I thought, oh, I got to go to Walmart and pick some things up. I'm just going to see if they got stuff to make the fish tacos. Worked out great. Yeah, it did. Oh, there's Hammock Mountain. <laughs> How are you doing, brother? Yeah, I don't want to miss anybody. I'm just looking for arrows and new people. Oh, uh, Lancaster uh, and York here. Small world, right? Uh, all of us probably go to the same, uh, say, yeah, same Cabela's. I had a meetup out at Cabela's. Um, that was my first meetup. Uh, I believe that was. Oh, I forget what it was. It's been been a while, but that was my first ever meetup uh, right there at the Cabela's parking lot. Now Bass Pro Shop. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you're down that way, you should come over to the um, hammock hang down there to Maha. I'm sure you can just come over for even the day and just walk around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the salted caramel is so good. Did you really have one earlier today? Uh, yeah, they are so good. And if you all don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Tony Chocoloni, the littler one. Dollar eighty nine at Walmart. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So uh, when I was down there, who doesn't know who uh, Mr. Beast is, right? So a lot of you know who Mr. Beast is. Um, before I left to go down to um, Florida or not to North Carolina, I stopped at um, Walmart, just picked something up. And I looked over my shoulder and check out and there was a blue wrapper candy bar. I said, ah, and it was a beastable, beastable, beastable. It was Mr. Beast candy bar. And I thought, oh, I ought to grab one of those and take it with me and maybe do a video. Um, of me saying, hey, this is what our dessert is going to be uh, and eat this candy bar because I'd never eaten one before. Um, so I did pack it away in the car and took it with me, not knowing when I got down to the um, uh, Woolly Swamp, met David, the owner, and he had said, hey, I saw a cabin and it was the Beast Cabin. And I thought, oh, I wonder why it's named that. And David said that Mr. Beast, who lives in North Carolina, um, did a video right there. <laughs> and this video was uh, the air, airplane survival video, like a year and something earlier, uh, where him and they dropped a jet in the field um, and from a crane. And I was wondering, driving back there, how there was such a nice road going through a little of a bit of a swamp. Like, man, that would have cost a lot of money. Well, I'm thinking now, I don't know this for a fact, uh, but to get the crane back there to that field, they would have had to put that road in. And um, so uh, it opened up a way to get back to that area. Uh, but I went on just the other day and I watched that video of Mr. Beast about the airplane crash. And I did a screenshot because when there's the planes right there, they're all sitting around the fire. And over um, his right shoulder is the pine trees that I camped in. And I thought, I didn't know any of that going down there. I didn't know any of that when I was there, that that was that. Uh, but earlier this week, I thought, oh, that's right. Mr. Beast did a video there. Um, and sure enough, pretty cool. I think if I'd have done a video, man, that would have had a, if I would have included everything that I wanted to 
on that video. We'd have had a two hour video. I had to, you know, cut it back and cut it down. Okay, I was thinking we could make a community post and every everyone that's in, interested can either post in the comments of it or this video. Uh, I can keep an eye out for for the post and post a link under their comment. Okay, so that's for Discord um, is what KN's uh, talking about. So that's Discord. That's another way that uh, we can open it up to different people that are very, very familiar with Discord, especially the younger crowd. Not that we're older. We just never experienced it before. Um, but it's a great great thing to learn and it's got a lot of stuff in there so if people had questions about hammocks and someone else had answers and could post links and it's like a little forum almost uh, just for the random adventures 2.0 and kn you've done an amazing job even though i don't know much about discord <laughs> everything that you've been showing me and you, you just you rock you rock 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 yeah, and really enjoyed talking to you on the phone the other day too. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, William, how you doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, when is the meetup uh, this summer? You know, I haven't thought of one uh, yet for this summer. Let's see. Okay, uh, Joyce says uh, prayers for me. Having an infusion for osteoporosis on Thursday. Okay, last year's infusion uh, made me sick for five days. Ah, condition uh, caused from chemo treatment four years ago. Well, definitely be praying for you, Joyce, uh, that everything goes good and that you uh, don't have any ill effects. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, it is, uh, it is, it is. Costanza, how are you doing? <laughs> hello, hello. All right. Oh, good night, all. All right, good night, Carl. Oh, uh, we've got good nights already, and I'm just, oh, hour and, uh, how many? 71 people watching. We have been on for an hour and 16 minutes, and, uh, oh, I am still behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Town, we were, Raystown Lake. Oh, wow, my dad got limes. Uh, that trip. Yeah, limes is no joke. Yeah, if you get bit by a tick or one's embedded, I I would say almost go on that antibiotic, go to the doctors and get that antibiotic just to make sure. Yeah, ticks are really bad there in central Kentucky. Yep, they're definitely out this year. Lots of them. Hey, Connolly Outdoors, how you doing? Tony, do you prefer the one pound or 20 pound propane tank uh, when you run your buddy heater? Well, I just use the uh, little Coleman ones because I really don't use my little buddy for that long if I do use it. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people do the 20 pound tank, but when I've used it in the car, I've only used it for like, five minutes to take chill off or something like that. Uh, I don't run it that long, but I did use it um, in the one camp where I cooked the cheeseburgers on it uh, up at that. That's in the travel videos. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I used it up there, but mainly just the one pounder. But I like, I, I like the fact of, you know, 20 pounder if I was going to use it more. Uh, but usually I don't use it that off, that long when I do use it. It's mainly just to take the chill off or something like that. But I did use it in the hot tent once. Yep. Post links and it's limit to mods. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I. Okay, <laughs> old and fart outdoors. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, did you hang in it yet? I did. You put the video up that uh, was that you putting it in the tree? I saw uh, on Facebook and made the comment, brother. Yeah, congratulations on that Haven XL. That looks sweet. <laughs> 
Hello, Eric. <laughs> yes. Josh. Okay. Uh, what did you think of the that inverted inverted hammock? Uh, what do you think of that inverted hammock? Inverted? Maybe the the one where you, the AMOC, maybe? Uh thought the AMOC was pretty neat. I didn't get to sit in it. I should have sat in it. But they had the one uh, down there. It was the ultralight one. Uh, looked pretty cool. I, but they had it set up so you could sit in the one. I, I just, I didn't get a chance to. I just didn't take advantage of it. <laughs> guy smiley says hey tony you're looking like king, king friday from mr rogers neighborhood <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah hey fox cat uh gameplay how you doing hi lad yeah a yeah, guy smiling and yeah. Uh, you nailed the look. Uh, I was trying to figure out uh why he looked familiar. I'll have to go look that up. Yeah. I remember watching uh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah. In King of Camping, yeah. Uh hey Big Mike, how are you doing? Uh tree step. Okay, yeah, Stitch says uh, tree strap with bracket hitch. Yes, uh tied around a tube. Um is what tony's trying to say yeah thank you very much stitch okay let me scroll down scroll down scroll down hey joseph strickland how are you doing happy sunday everyone uh jonathan how are you doing from allentown i loved you um hammock camp i uh, love the hitch hammock oh yeah 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 Tim is here. Tim. Yeah. Hello, Tony. Tim from Florida. Yeah. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. To, okay, Stitch, Stitch has got a question. Uh, Tony, if Hobo Shoestring uh, checked into the hospital, could he have been uh, misdiagnosed and was suffering from an uh, oncoming stroke? He should have not left the hospital, sadly. Yeah, he shouldn't have left the hospital because I know he was, he checked himself out. But that is a possibility because you do get confused. And he was saying he was confused. Um, I don't know what other signs he would have had, but if he, I don't know, I don't know how he got in the lake. Oh, something rang. Uh, Oh, my phone buzzed out like, what is that? I was getting a message. I can't look at it right now because I'm on, on the phone using it for my camera. Yeah, I don't know what other symptoms he had, um, but it's a possibility. But I still don't know how he got in the lake. Yeah. But he, he was saying that he was disoriented and things. Um, yeah. Very sad. Very, very sad. I just saw a post where they had, uh, he was cremated. And so they, I think they made a box uh, with a train on top of it. I saw that on Facebook. That was really nice. Hey, Miss 2.0. How are you doing, honey? Yeah. Uh, want to see Mountain Color. Want, Leonard saying, want to see Mountain in Colorado. Not sure. Okay, but that reminds me, in Colorado, I just watched um, from uh, me going out of Ore, Million Dollar Highway, I was showing um, Ed and uh, George, those are two guys that I, in Elysburg, George is the Vietnam vet. Oh, speaking of that, uh, so this is, um, I'm gonna turn this way. This shirt here, Rags of Honor, all right? Supporting at-risk veterans. So um, I saw this at Walmart, this shirt, um, and it's right here. 
supporting at-risk military veterans. And I got this one and I got another one, but the other one I got for George, uh, because he's, uh, it took it down to him today and he really, really, really liked it. Yeah. And I like this, this as well. <laughs> nice shirt. Yeah. And it goes to supporting and helping a very good cause, but the, the, uh, <laughs> $13.87, cheap, yeah. Um, Wear with pride, this t-shirt was designed and printed in the US with American made fabric, yeah. So, and just thinking of all of our um, military uh, that was involved in last night's um, uh, defensive maneuvers for all of everything that was shot against Israel um, that came in. Um, everything worked great. Um, and they were able to stop 99% of everything that came in. And uh, definitely prayers for the little uh, girl that was uh, injured by shrap metal. Keep her in prayer. I don't know her name. I don't think they released her name, but seven year old girl um, in critical condition. Someone sent someone. Someone sent Tony a Floby, right? Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember those. Cute either way. I'm always cute. <laughs> Thanks, son. Um, how are you doing? All righty, righty. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. Your bias. <laughs> Yeah, I missed some stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm a scrolling. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, did I miss one? Yep. Hey, Terry May, how are you doing? Hi, everyone. Terry from Lancaster County. I'll be in your neck of the woods the end of the week. Yes, I will at ambush. Uh, and you will be doing uh, two. Let's see. Okay. So uh, Adam's asking um, any future uh, hangs um, or cons uh, uh, you will be going to in the coming future? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not always familiar with them, but um, if if I'm told about them, I'll definitely check them out uh, because that was my second one I was ever at, and I'm going to my third one uh, over here um, this weekend, uh, Maha. So looking forward to the Maha one. I don't know. There's there's more. There's going to be some in the fall. Um, Maha does another one in the fall. But there's a lot of them, especially on the East Coast. Uh, but, yeah, I may. I'll try to, um, you know, if I'm going to go to one, I'll let you guys know um, where I'll be. And um, <laughs> Terry Mason, don't he got a haircut? <laughs> you look spiffy. <laughs> spiffy. I like that. <laughs> spiffy. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Get, yeah, good night, uh, baby and me. Uh, tiny house on wheels. Good night, brother. Uh, that's. Uh... Oh, there we go. Is it really? Okay, so your birthday's uh, September 27th. Chris, um, mine's July 27th, but I've, for the last 20 years, maybe. I've always seen nine to seven all the time. And uh, I explained uh, something to Stitch while I was out there. Why nine twenty seven? I'm gonna, not going to repeat the math that I was doing. But for eight, 19 years, it made sense uh, until we did it. <laughs> something. So anyhow, uh, yes, yes, yes. So happy birthday in September. Maybe that's why I like 9272. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> Richard says, 
Tony, I hope you know it's lonely. Oh, lonely. Oh, Chaka lonely. I never knew that. <laughs> See, I I always said Chaka lonely. <laughs> not lonely. It's not lonely. That rhymes better, Tony Chaka lonely. Lonely. Oh, Tony Chaka lonely. I don't want to be lonely, <laughs> but I guess it is, isn't it? Tony Chaka lonely. I've been pronouncing, well, I pronounce things wrong all the time. We're just going to go with it because <laughs> a lot of people call me, hey, Tony Chocoloni. Uh, say, hey, Levi, how are you doing? I loved watching your video. I uh, always enjoy to watch. Uh, there, are, there are not enough hammock campers out there creating content. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, Levi. Hey, Debbie Hills. Awesome. Good to see you, Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hello, Tony. How are you doing? Says Robert. I am doing uh, very good, Robert. Yes. Says 15 minutes and counting. Ed's got a question here. Uh, did you get a chance to look at those third printed tarp fleas? Or 3D printed tarp fleas? Yeah, I did. They're right down there in that bag. I was going to take them along with me uh, when I went to uh, North Carolina, but I didn't. Um, but I got to figure out how to use them. So I think I'm going to take them with me when I go to hang over in um, this weekend coming up in Lancaster. I'm going to take them with me to Maha and see if somebody can show me those. But thank you very much, Brother Ed, for sending them. They're, they're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What are, what are tarp fleas? Uh, <laughs> So last Sunday, I pu pulled them out of the bag. They're for the guy line, I believe, right? Uh, the, for the guy line and for hooking to the tarp to make it very easy uh, to hook up your tarp with guy lines and stuff. But I'm going to learn more. <laughs> I definitely am. Oh, may I comb my beard? So I did pick up a comb as well. This is every man Jack comb. <laughs> Because I'm putting the beard oil in it now that I <laughs> learned a little bit more about having a beard since I've had one for a while. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, they hold the guy lines uh, to to the tent pegs, yes. Oh, well, go enjoy supper, Joyce. My salmon's almost ready, says M&T. Ooh, salmon sounds good. All right. Let's see. Oh, did you sleep in it last night? Oh, look at me on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you slept in it last night. That's cool. Yeah. And that haven uh, is, it's flat. It's a bridge hammock. So it's flat. And when I was down at Hancon, I laid in uh, that hammock. Oh, I keep burping. Mmm, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Who's having hot dogs? Get a swing hammock, Leonard says. Mm. Mr. Rogers may have uh, been one of the best people uh, to ever grace the earth. Yeah, how about it? Mr. Rogers is awesome. Very calming, very, very calming. Uh, let's see. Hey, JR's Life, how are you doing? Like I said, I'm, hey, there's a net. I'm scrolling to say hi to people that just popping on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rendever. <laughs> what I was saying, Rendever is. Tony has a uh, Ren Ren Dever. Yeah, yeah, with the Tony Chocolone. Yeah, because I was saying Ren Dever is for rendezvous for so long. Uh, Tony, my family um, is on uh, 
Tony, my family is on baby watch. Oh, my daughter is due any moment. Yeah. Uh, with a baby girl. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, just uh, waiting for the call. Hard to sleep, <laughs> right? Well, congratulations to, uh, to you, Grandpa. Yeah. You'll have to let us know what the name is, what name they picked out. Usually you can pick a name. Well, this is how it worked for us. Sometimes we pick a name and then change it as soon as uh, our child was born. Hey, Ace and Suitcases. Aces and Suitcases. Hello from Ohio. That's what I get when you sleep with your dog. <laughs> Tart, please. That's what you get when you sleep with your dog in, in the hammock. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Justin Adventures. Uh, um, I, <laughs> right? Priceless. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's where uh, that term um it's a two dog night it's one dog night sleeping with the dog you know stay warm it was is that three dog night yeah so cold it's three dog night and it's because you need three dogs sleeping with you to keep you warm uh, or two dog night <laughs> oh you know what i don't think we're gonna lose lose power so i've had this just here going that's the that's our our fire maple lantern i think it's safe we can turn it off Ooh, i always turn it the wrong way it's off still got a lot of fluid in there yeah so like i said i treated my clothes with permethrin um so that's the permethrin that we got down at hancon i treated uh, four pairs of pants because I have uh, from REI, I've got the two, two gray and two green. Uh, and so a lot of times you're like, he's wearing the same thing every time, every video. No, I have multiples of the same thing because I love these pants. Uh, very, very comfortable and warm too, even though they're cool. You know, it's the REI brand of pants uh, that I wear. I like the side pockets. I can stick my phone in this side and. Yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, we got a question, Josh. Have you thought about uh, setting up a Random Adventures uh, camp out? Yeah, we did talk about it, uh, doing a camp out. I was going to do one up there um, at the Loyal Sock, the CCC farm. Uh, but then they were saying you couldn't uh, have a fire. Because I, I wanted to set that up. So we'll have to think about something um, to do in a place but that would be cool you know you know, i even looked into uh trying to get one done at a federal but you can't hang hammocks in federal so it was we went through that a couple um, about a month and a half ago trying to figure out something to do just decided there's not enough time to figure something out this year. So maybe next year, I thought also about maybe doing a day at Knobles Grove. Um, that's the huge, um, huge park um, in Elysburg. Um, free parking, things like that. They do have a campsite. If people wanted to come from out of state or something like that, can camp in their campgrounds. But like run a pavilion, maybe have like a little cookout in there of something. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm just not sure. Gonna say this. Uh, and Tony, my dad had a wonderful three dog night story from the 70s. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we will. Have, save it uh for another time uh but my goodness it was so funny a funny one i uh, have to tell you someday over a cup of coffee yeah we got to get together for that coffee yeah i love to hear the story yeah even with all the arrows and question marks 
he missed your question. Did I miss a question? Oh, what what did I miss? Let me scroll up. I'm sorry to go back. Did I miss the questions? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Uh, is anyone going to the uh, trail days in Damascus, um, May 17th? So I haven't figured it out yet, um, but that's going to be coming up soon. Um, 17th, now, what is what is trail days in Damascus? That's uh, the Appalachian Trail. Um, it's a big, um, like, hangout. Uh, they have trail days, vendors. I know a lot of the vendors that I talked to well, I know Hammock Gear is going. Adam from Hammock Gear, um, Ram Dino on trail. Um, there's a lot of people that go to trail day. So if you have hiked the Appalachian Trail um, or you are currently hiking the Appalachian Trail, you, a lot of people that are on the trail will get off and travel no matter where they're at to Damascus for trail days. A uh, big gathering there, really, really neat. Sorry, Daniel, <laughs> I didn't, I missed it. But I don't know if I'm going to be going. I, I mentioned it uh, to Miss 2.0, but I don't know. Setting up a random camp out. Uh, let's see. Okay, what's ambush? Uh, so ambush, uh, it's it's the location where we're going to be uh, doing the Maha hammock hang. Now Maha, what does Maha stand for? Uh, it's the uh, Mid Atlantic Hammock Hanger Association. So that's Maha. But ambush is over in Lancaster. It's a uh, airsoft or paintball. They do both. Uh, but you can see there's a the like a fort and they run around and shoot each other. <laughs> yeah. So they got villages and all kinds of setups there, a city and they do that, but that's going to be the location for the uh, spring uh, Maha. Uh, but they're also going to be, if you want to, you could sign up to play paintball, but I did talk to Danny, the owner, really super nice guy. Really, really, really nice. Uh, but that's going to be the location of where where the hang is going to be. So I got to walk through the trees. Um, the, he's been having some guys cut down dead trees uh, that were in that area, kind of clear it out. He's going to be doing a little bit more work there this week, he said, getting prepared. Um, but, yeah, the, the terrain, fairly okay. I walked around. Um, they're going to have some porta potties there at the one end. He said he might get them in further so people didn't have to walk all the way back to the entrance. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, I, like I said, I wanted to navigate and walk in there a little bit just to see what I had to plan for. Uh, so if there's going to be a lot of people, I don't know where I'm going to hang. So I'm probably going to try to get there as early as I can to try to find a place that wouldn't be too difficult for me to get around uh, because it does slope down in one area and I'd have to climb up and down uh, the hill, which could hinder me getting over to the field. And then you got to get to the eating area. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it should be pretty cool. So yeah. Hey, Red Bush Primitives, how you doing? And there's Sherry Price. Greetings from Pensacola, Florida. Hey, Tony with an eye. How are you doing? And let Daniel be your guide. Yeah, I guess the drum circle down. That's one of the things you said you want to see me at the drum circle down in Damascus on trail days. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of hikers are there. They get rides in and you know some groups of them some like two people um you know to a whole carpool will get off trail and all hitch a ride down to trail days and then after trail days is done they go back to wherever the trail is um 
they were at on the trail and then start hiking from there again. Uh, well, I had no idea. Yeah, huge. They've been there for 40 years, uh, Danny was telling me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Looks like I got all caught up. And so I finally got caught up. Let's see. How's that? Like I said, I had a big black spot on this eye um, floater. Uh, but it's doing good. I don't really see it as much anymore. We'll see if it fades away over the next couple of days. Or else I've got to call my eye doctor again and see if he, but he did that laser and dissolved it. Ah, let's see. So, um, video this Thursday. I've got to film it yet. And <laughs> so, um, Definitely, I've been looking, for scouting places. Um, like I said, I ran into all those ticks. So I wanted to make sure I got my stuff treated with permethrin. I've never treated my stuff, my clothing before. Um, and I've only ever had like a tick crawl on me, like one. But two days ago when I had the 19 ticks, I'm like, ah, time to, um, this year maybe take it a little bit more serious and get that uh, treat to close, especially since I got the permethrin and that we picked up down in Florida. Sawyer had donated permethrin and a ton of it. Any summer plans um, to share, asked Josh? No, I don't have any plans. <laughs> I'm all random. <laughs> but this time of the year, last year, where was I at in April? Stitch, I think I was pretty close to your place. Yeah, yeah, I'd already been to California and I was working my way back, did the Million Dollar Highway, Mesa Verde. If you guys haven't watched any of the travel videos, go check them out. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're last year. Uh, I thought of taking some of them and because a lot of beautiful um, scenery. I thought of making a couple of them in this because I have all the raw footage on, you know, storage. You know, if I get time sometime, I thought maybe let make a little voiceover and a little shot of that. But that's really not our venue, <laughs> which me traveling. Um, but it was beautiful. I am so glad I did that. And I'd love to do it again. I'd love to. Yeah, 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 it was awesome. Seven and a half weeks sleeping in the Subaru. I mean, unless I stayed with Stitch or only did the uh, one hotel because I had to get an oil change and they weren't going to be open for two days. Uh, yeah, I loved visiting Mesa Verde, says uh, Hammock Mountain. Yeah, really, really cool. I know Mesa Verde, uh, when I was there, they said the one road was going to be closed for like two years. You weren't going to be able to travel out to uh, see um, some of the uh, ruins because they were replacing the water line, which when they put the water line and stuff in, they put it under the road. <laughs> and now they got to dig the road up to replace the water line. So it was going to mess up like 12 miles of road. So they have to repave it all. Are you going to be about? Seven miles. Oh, really, Terry? Huh. Only seven miles. Yeah, I don't know if they can come over. Um, I've been I've been thinking if people wanted to say hi or something like that, they can drive over. Yeah, so only seven miles from the paintball place. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got a yawn in that. <laughs> so, uh, I've been watching your old videos again, posting uh, up some new comments. Yeah, appreciate that, Josh. 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of really cool, uh, places that we went to. So then we got back, we went to the spam museum in Minnesota and that was pretty much the last of the 37 travel videos that we did. But what are we doing this week? I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, I got to I got to figure out what I'm doing. Some old locations from old videos. Well, uh, I have um, showing how it's uh, changed or do something different. I have. Um, so I know when I got back from the trap, my very first overnight um, stealth camp was at Centralia. And then when I got back from um, my trip across America, which was a, a year later, I redid that one uh, again. And I'm trying to think if I thought the other day that I ought to, I ought to go to a couple of places and redo uh, just because like when I went, oh, I've gone to places and that looks nothing like it, it used to. And some places I don't even know if I could. They're tore down or they're painted and boarded. And there's a lot of places that once I've camped in, they're not campable anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you got to, and there's a couple of places that I wanted to camp and then didn't. And then now you can't. Yeah. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Dixie, I was going to lift up some coffee, but I'm not going to have any uh, coffee. I had quite a bit uh, today, um, coffee. I've still got some in here, <laughs> which this is the uh, uh, this is the Swift Swift coffee. It's not this one, uh, the Twilight, but it is the Brazilian. Um, but I don't have the pack up here because I made it downstairs. So this is the Brazilian. Uh, mm -mm. And I can gulp it. Very good. Very, very good. All righty. So let's see. And um, Hammock Mountain got some of the, um, the Swift coffee. I'm getting ready to drink a cup of freshly ground chocolate cherry kiss coffee. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, we have been on for just almost two hours. So 68 people still watching. And I am going to go ahead and soon say good night. Yeah. All right. So any last questions? Oh, we got a just question here. Uh, what is your favorite Swift coffee so far? My favorite one so far, it would have to be, uh, let's see. I have, I, I forget the name of it, <laughs> but it's, it's not the, um, I like them all so far, but but if I were to say the favorite, it's their it's their main seller. But I, it's not the Twilight. I haven't tried the Ethiopian yet. The Guju. Uh, Twilight, yeah. Oh, I guess it was the Twilight. So the the Twilight is the one that I like the most so far. If I had to say which one do I like the most, I like them all, but definitely the Twilight. And when I say it's instant coffee, uh, they're saying, oh, I actually uh, went down there and met him. I, I met Christian uh, because before I went, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, the day before I went to ambush, I drove to a different part of Lancaster, two hours away, mm -hmm. and met um, met Christian. Man, I'm bourbon a lot. Excuse me. I met Christian from Swift. I wanted to check check out that area as well. 
and just so happens I got a chance to meet them. I went, I wanted to find out where they make it, but um, I get it at Fresh Market. Oh, so um, Tony. Uh, Yeah, let's see. I'll try the twilight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, my leg itches. <laughs> Got to check that for a tick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, when I when I went down there, I got a chance to meet them and stuff. And I was looking for an area that maybe a, in future I could camp. But I didn't realize how big Lancaster was. I'd only ever been to, like, Sight and Sound area drove through there. I didn't know that Lancaster was so big. Uh, I mean, I came, came back through um, when I went to Ambush. It brought me out 501. Uh, went through Lancaster, through downtown Historic. That's huge. Huge Lancaster. It's just amazing. But um, yeah, Josh says, Tony looks worn out. I have been super extra tired lately. Um, yeah, a lot. But that's also because when I went to North Carolina, left the day early, and I figured that stretch between going to North Carolina, coming back, and then shooting up there to do the video of the eclipse, and then coming back, uh, I figured I got maybe in a five-day stretch roughly about 20 hours of sleep on that five day stretch. So yeah, I was, I'm still kind of, still kind of a little tired from all that, trying to get caught up. And then I've been running, looking for places, um, scouting places. Um, yeah, just a lot of driving. And then, yeah, a lot of drive, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ragman, how are you doing? Yeah. All right. Well, bad joke. I'll stop now. Okay. So I am going to get off of here because it is coming up on the two hours. I usually like to go as long as I can. <laughs> and I can't go anymore tonight. I'm tired. And <laughs> no, I just get it. I just keep drinking that coffee. No, I, like I said, this eye, it's got a big black thing on it. Kind of happened right before we went on live. So I kind of want to rest that. Okie dokie. I think we're good. I think we're good. Any last questions? Going once, going twice. Yeah, not my uh, ideal coffee experience, Josh. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that's about. Oh, Brazilian. They send me a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's see. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Uh, this was fun, says Terry. Hey, good night, Mary. How are you doing, Mary, Mary Torres? And Johnny, good night, y'all. All right. Well, uh, just continue to pray for Israel and um, just... I know there's probably, they were saying there's going to be a response, uh, but thank God that he protected um, them um, from the attack. All right. Hey, John. Uh, John Flameboy, there you are. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, Ragman. All right. Well, oh, I still got to do the cue, the music, but I got to get that on my, I got to get that on that phone so I can go. Hey, cute music. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope y'all, um, if you didn't get a chance to watch that last video, then you go back and watch it uh, and um, post in comments if you're interested in Discord. Uh, so go, once this is done, it'll go to regular, um, you know, to rewatch. And then if you're interested in Discord, being a part of Discord, or at least going on there, you've done Discord before, and I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> um, so um, 
comment in the comments that you want to know about Discord and KN. I'll help do that. And then KN, maybe uh, post something on our Facebook page about Discord as well. All right, everyone. Uh, well, y'all have a great night. And we got, oh, we got 40 seconds left to say good night. Uh, all right. Well, say. Oh, something fell. Oh, my backpack. All right, Tony, <laughs> thanks a lot for uh, stopping in and joining in tonight. And God bless everyone and have a safe and uh, amazing week, right? And if you think about it, tell someone you love them, all right? <laughs> all right. Well, Tony no longer looking homeless. <laughs> <laughs> out <laughs> so tony 2.0 all right here we go good night everyone had a great time and we will see you i gotta go make miss 2.0 some tomato soup and grilled cheese before she gets home she gets off at 10 unless she's working late i don't know we'll see you all right good night everyone good night good night good night and we'll see you on the next one